Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and I'm gonna try to make this quick because I got no AC. Freaking, uh, what is this? 2015, four years. It looks like I might have to go do my actual first repair on this. Uh, very, very good uh, car. Got a weak ass battery in the AC. It used to not work sometimes, and now it never works. I'm telling you, this is the border. It's real, real nice, but even in December, AC is freaking mandatory. So anyway, this is Batman 84. It's the pen ultimate, the the one before the last one. Did he, we're done with Tom King on the Batman title next month? And this is how oh God, it's just so great. Now he was going to be on until um, issue 100, but the sales dipped when uh, basically when um, Batman got cucked at the altar and then symbolically tried to kill himself. Although we're probably going to find out next issue that that was a secret plan they had all along. Blah blah blah. Whatever. Um, but, uh, um, yeah, so it's, it's just very, very exciting <laughs> to be done with this. And what is this? It's whatever. It's Tom King's arrogance. First of all, it's a book that relies on you knowing pretty much intimately the previous 83 issues because there's no little boxes explaining this is this and this means this and this happened. No, no, no. You're just supposed to, you're just supposed to be a, a Tom King ologist and just have all of this, you know, uh, carved onto the inside of your skull. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, um, Tom King's cuck, beta, little boy Batman against baddy daddy, and, uh, they square up. <laughs> it's so pathetic. Like, I, you know, have this rule. If you're in the title, and it's, it, you don't get it, you, you don't get an easy out for someone else also called Batman. Uh, we know this is Batman Bruce Wayne. So if it's Batman Bruce Wayne, you have to do something awesome in every issue, at least once. We get to see him square off against his dad who looks like three inches taller than him. Yeah, I know he's crouching a little bit still. Um, look at these dynamic poses, wow. Comics are fun. Um, so he's like, for Alfred. And then his dad's just like, Debo freaking one hit or quitters. <laughs> Tom, that's Tom King's cuck beta pussy ass Batman in a nutshell getting beat up by your alpha daddy. Um, so then we flash back to, like I said, you, you basically have to have read most of his run to understand what the significance of this, oh, something, there's a hole in the desert. Yeah, don't explain it, Tom. No, no don't explain it. You're the hottest thing going. Yeah, it's not 2017. Nobody believes that anymore. Man, I remember, I took some heat in 2017. I was like, I don't think Tom King's the greatest artist ever. People are like, Sudoku yourself. Um, but now everyone's like, yeah, okay, yeah, Tom King sucks. Everyone knows that. Um, so uh, then uh, every I planned everything man talks to other I planned everything man and they both make plans together. BFFs! So stupid. And then here's it. Uh, hey. Uh, oh, jeez! Do you remember the issue where Bruce Wayne Batman sat down next to, kneel, knelt down next to the Joker and then Joker set off explosives and just blew up like the cathedral? Yeah. That, that, that's real, it happened. So right after it happened, guess what? Everything that has, every, man, the man that does everything with a plan, all the plans, he walked up and talked to Joker and he's like, I've watched him get close to a false happiness, but now after Booster, after this, someone is, is behind this, pushing this, pushing him. Who told you they were getting married? Tell me and I'll save you. Who cares? So Tom King's whole thing has been like, Batman needs to be happy, which is like, failed, failed. You, you just failed this uh, interview. One time I was on an interview, uh, you know, a Silicon Valley interview, what it was for, Box.com. And it was one of those, God, I, I hate tech, especially the Silicon Valley. Everyone is so up their ass. It's like a city full of Tom Kings. Um, so they can't just have an interview. It's like a seven hour interview. And it's like, oh, we're going to talk about this, this, this. And I was doing pretty good. And then there was a whole hour about Linux. And he asked me some questions. I was like, I barely know Linux. I know like five commands. 
So we, I said all five of them. And then he kept asking me. And at one point, you know, I just clearly didn't have the job. So I, I like, I, I got kind of sarcastic. I was like, I haven't learned anything since we started this, you know, discussion. Like, I still know the same five things. Like, you're, at, you, we both know my level of Linux. Like, just, just stop it. Stop it. Stop the madness. You know, you don't need to just keep proving that someone doesn't know something or, or can't do something or they're completely freaking incompetent. And yes, thinking that the goal for Batman is to be happy, that's just like, you failed. You failed this interview. Like, I, I had to do like one hour after. It's like, I know I haven't passed. Like, just just cut me. You know, like, why keep me here? Why did you keep Batman here? It's like, he just wants to be happy. And his daddy wants him to be happy too. And his mommy wife, oh my goodness, gracious me, oh my. She wants her little guy to be happy too. <laughs> You're fired. You're fired, Tom King. Go. Go write your cuckery and dumb fuckery somewhere else. Seek life elsewhere. I keep, I'm quoting G.I. Jane a lot. Um, so then, um, do you remember Catwoman? The, do you, oh, look. Do you remember when Batman and Superman went on dates with their mommy wives? Shall we? This could be fun. This will be fun. Three snaps up in a circle. So, um, then we get this whole bit where... And I get a lot, little confused because I don't know if this... I, I'm pretty sure this is a cat woman from another timeline. And uh, so we're having Cutesy Pie talk with them. So Batman in two timelines has Cutesy Pie talk with his sarcastic, condescending mommy wife. It was easier when I got to kill them. But then you met me and all was good and right in the world. I think I should start killing them again. And happiness reigned throughout the... Shut the fuck up! Wow, sorry, earmuffs. God, you are a terrible writer, Tom King, and you are so annoying and such a frickin' super cuck. Wow, oh wow. And happiness reigned throughout the land. <laughs> um, as yikes. Comics suck so bad. So now she does her more like condescending flirting with him. It's like. Look, old man, with your old man brain and your old man memory, we met on the roof. No, you're wrong. It was the bank. Oh, my God. They're, like, talking about their... Shut the fuck up. Oh, God. Shut, shut, God. shut up, Tom. Shut up. Freaking... Ah! I, was, I got a little too personal with my insults, so I just said them in my head. The word man titties might... Or it might not have been said in my head. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. So I'll just skip to the more stuff where he's talking about happiness. Happiness. Oh my gosh. Talk about some happiness before. Okay, so then, then we cut back to... Which is the better one-hitter quitter? We got the... I guess that's the left hand punch. Okay, then it, then we get a silhouette. I mean, that's pretty much Batman's whole run in a nutshell. I'm a, an effeminate, emotionally incontinent man, baby. No, we're not talking about Mark Wade. Uh, being knocked out by his alpha silver fox daddy. Um, Alfred is dead and you're not. Bane is broken, lying in a coma at Arkham. Take off the mask. Marry the girl. Settle into a life of warmth and peace. Listen to a man, to your father, who chose what you chose, who suffered the consequences of being this bat, this horror. For once in your damn life, listen. Do what I should have done. Son, stay down. Look at this teeny tiny baby Batman. Yes, I know he's kneeling, but the perspective and the height difference is way off. Way, way off. Little baby Batman gonna marry his mommy wife because daddy says so. And he's a mean daddy. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone. Give me the GoFundMe and the Indiegogo. 
So uh, I went to the new comic, or I went to the comic book shop today. Got about honestly, there's like nothing out there. It it's a skippable week. I bought a couple things to make fun of them. I don't even remember one. Oh, Batman Rachel versus Rachel Gould, but that was from last week. Yes, a, a very very uh, skippable week and, and a skippable uh, career if you're talking about Tom King. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.